Logpoint supports user-based authentication, so each user can log on and get their own set of dashboards, get their own configuration. We can limit them from viewing certain sort of levels of data depending on, on their hierarchy within the organization. So these are the dashboards you see in front of you. Um, on the top here, I have my dashboards in tabs, threat intelligence, MITRE attack, whatever the case is. These are all, these are all the respective dashboards. Inside a dashboard is a widget. So the square here is a widget. When I hover over the widget, <clears throat> you'll see that there's a little drop down and I can add configuration. Quickly, before I come onto that, if your customer were to add a new dashboard, they can literally go and create their, their own new dashboard here, new widgets, new search, new whatever they want. They can see their series of their own dashboards and potentially all of the vendor dashboards. So these are all the log point dashboards. So you can see there's many, many, many dashboards inside here that customers can choose. And then it shows you your actual widget count on the side here. And you've got used and shared it on top of that if need be. So let's get back into these widgets. Inside the widget, the one I'm going to take a look at, top 10 outbound attacks by country. Click on my drop down. You'll see that there are various tags on the top and I can see the search query that was initiated to produce the data inside this widget. This data is coming from four repositories inside Logpoint and I've got my search information. I can edit this, delete it. I can turn this um, widget, the search widget into an incident. I can generate an alert from it. For simple sake, I'm going to click on the search button. What this does is this executes the search for the widget back into our main search window. And as you can see, this is not exactly raw data. If I were to click on the magnifying glass on the left, that produces raw data. In this case, it's still some level of, um, of, of kind of formatting applied to this. If I would like to understand, so if I'm a security analyst and I'm really trying to sort of drill down and understand what's going on here, it's very important and it's very applicable if I can somehow change the view of the data so I can view it in a slightly different mechanism. So I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to choose sand key. Now, sand key is a pretty interesting way to visualize data because it shows you kind of source to destination or as it traverses a proxy server. So I can see a huge bubble of a greater segment of people accessing data or potentially um, a fewer person with failed with more failed logons than somebody else. So that's a great sand key. I can pivot straight away right inside Logpoint, pivot right down to a world map. And that is actually the world map we saw earlier, looking at all my respective items inside that, coming across the various countries. So right within Logpoint, right within the sort of dashboard view, we like to give the security analyst the possibility that they can bounce around, they can view data, they can change the pivoting, they can change how they would like to look at that, change looking at it via another segment, just to help you understand, am I seeing an attack? Am I seeing something take place that I can really jump on and leverage? Mm -hmm.